specifically from here for venereal disease. It was inside room N214 that four Humber students made history. Three, two, one, we're live. Wireless and telecommunications technology students Paul G, Gino Kunti, Patrick Nealon, and Kevin Luong designed and built the NASA-approved radio communication system as part of a school technical design project in their final year. Uh, do you feel that the ISS has brought the different countries together? Over. Definitely, and that's what's so beautiful about this. The students and professor Mark Rector managed to contact astronaut Sarah Mangus aboard the International Space Station while traveling 27,000 kilometers an hour in orbit around Earth. The success brought a range of emotion to all members of the team. After successfully contacting the International Space Station, students headed down to the seventh semester room to talk with the media. Operation First Contact member Gino Kunti breathed a sigh of relief. I'm happy that we did it and uh, I hope that this inspires students in the future to do the same and hopefully even eclipse this. Professor Mark Rector says he is nothing but impressed. They, they did what it took NASA $100 billion and a team of engineers to do. I did it with four students in a, uh, in a cramped little lab, and um, I just couldn't be more proud of them. Founder and director of Canada's Telecommunications Hall of Fame, Lauren Abagoff, was glad to have witnessed such an event. I was nervous, like everybody else in the room, as to whether or not they would actually pull this off. Because as Professor Rector says, I think they really are punching above their weight here. For their groundbreaking efforts, the students and their professor will be honored by Canada's Telecommunications Hall of Fame in a ceremony coming this fall. Reporting live from Humber North, for The Daily Planet, I'm Brandon Gobi.